Hi, I'm Daniel and I want to thank you so much because we hit the 5000 subscriber mark and let's go for 10,000 now. So if you like my tutorial videos and my builds, uh, take the effort to subscribe uh, to the channel and ring the little bell so you will not miss one video. And before we start, I have a quick uh, teaser for you because one of the next videos will be a really cool one. I made a special build for a world famous gamer. It has something to do with, uh, with this brand and uh, it's going to be awesome. It's an amazing build, uh, but I can't share any information yet, but that will be the next video. What is more fun than playing uh, Steam games or PC games on your arcade system? They are some wonderful uh, uh, titles here. I really love them, uh, Super Meat Boy, Shank, I even play Red Dead Redemption, the fighting games, Mortal Kombat 11, uh, Hollow Knight, you name it. So, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Steam game to be able to play it in Hyperspin. We will set up the marquees, the artwork, the themes. I will also give you a quick tip how to use your arcade buttons to be able to play with the Steam games. Without further ado, let's get started. I will exit Hyperspin and I will show you what we are going to do. So for this tutorial, uh, I installed a Steam game and in this case, it has something to do with the next build. And uh, this is Tekken 7, a great fighting game. So I already installed it and the shortcut is on my desktop. And I have some, I have a folder here, which is the Tekken 7 folder. I open it for you. And I downloaded the team, the Hyperspin team. You can just Google, if you need a team, you can just Google it, uh, Tekken 7 Hyperspin team. You can download a ton of teams for free. So I have this zip file with a team inside. I made in Photoshop, a marquee, which is really easy. Just Google Tekken 7 wallpaper um, uh, 1080p and just uh, cut it out. Uh, in my case, it's 1920 uh, by 500. So I made this Tekken uh, marquee. I have this uh, MP4, which is the, the, the video, the gameplay video, and we have this logo. So before you start, uh, after you install the game, um, get your media ready and put them in a folder and my folder is on the desktop. Okay, let's start out by going to your database folder. You go to your Hyperspin drive, you go to Arcade, and then you go to Databases. Then you move over to PC, Games, let me see. And there are several databases here, but I'm going to use the standard PC games. And over here is a complete list of all the installed games in your Hyperspin PC uh, game uh, folder. So here you can see all the games. And we are going to start out by just copying the first game. Right click, copy. So include game name and include um, uh, the slash uh, game here. So copy it. Then enter and then just paste it here like this and now you can see we have two limbo games and now we're going to change the name and the name you will choose here is not important but make sure you keep using the same name so in my case it will be Tekken 7 and the description is also important will be also Tekken 7 great for now this is all you need to do so we save it and we close it. If we go to Hyperspin now, nothing will happen. We need to go to Rocket Launcher UI first. So let's go to Rocket Launcher. Let's open it up. Let me see, let's go to PC Games. Let's do the search bar here. PC games, there we are. Actually, Tekken is a PC fighting game, but I'm, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm used to, to put all my PC games in a PC folder. So go to this um, 
folder, choose PC Launcher Auto Hotkey and don't mind the exclamation marks or the warnings, this is perfectly fine. Go to this button here which is Edit System Specific Module Settings. We open it up and there we can see the list of all PC games. And if we did our job correctly, oh I see that I already have taken uh, in here, it shouldn't be in here yet. So if we did our job correctly, uh, if you press the plus sign, you will see a Tekken 7 game right here. So this is what we add to the database. So double click it and now you will see it here. And we're not ready yet. So we go to Steam ID and the trick to get your Steam ID is very really easy. Just go to your desktop, go to the shortcut, uh, right click, go to properties and here you can see your Steam ID number. So just copy that number Paste it here and we are almost ready. If we would start up the game now it would give us an error um, because it doesn't know um, when the game uh, has started. So we need uh, to have this app wait exe um, uh, uh, form filled in. So just click on the small wheel here. Uh, yes. Go to your Steam folder. I think it's on my iDrive. Go to Steam Library, go to Steam Apps, Common and find your game. So Tekken 7 and find the EXE um, that, that you're using to run it. So double click. So we are absolutely done now. If you would press the small rocket launcher or the small rocket button, it will start your game up. So you can see if it, if it, uh, if it is working. So let's exit Rocket Launcher UI. And let's go to Hyperspin and see if the game is added. We are in Rocket Launcher. Let's go to PC Gaming. Start game. And somewhere here is Tekken 7. Great, we're almost done. We can even already play it. If we press the enter button, it will start Tekken. But it looks like shit because there is no team, there is no video, there is no uh, marquee, nothing is uh, working yet. So let's get out of Hyperspin and fix this first. So we go back to our Hyperspin drive, we go to Arcade and then we go to Media and then we go to PC Games, PC Games and then we go to Teams and this is where you uh, drop your team zip file. So let me open my Tekken folder. Let's put it here. And here I have this Tekken 7 zip file. And remember that it needs to be perfectly spelled. So Tekken 7, uh, exactly how you put it in the database. So we just put it in the folder, Tekken 7. Now we go back one step and then we go to images. And then we, get, we, we come to wheel images and here are all the beautiful logos. So uh, take your Tekken 7 logo, drop it in there, there it is. And don't forget to rename it, so we call it Tekken 7. Perfect. So um, let's go um, two steps back to PC games, go to video. And now we insert the Tekken 7 video. Here we go. Let's make this one small. Let's close this one. Let's get back to Hyperspin. And see if it looks any better now. We're in Hyperspin. Let's go to PC Gaming. And I can already see Start. the nice Tekken 7 logo. So this works great. The team is running. Let me get the music on a little bit. Perfect, we have the video playing. And in my case, I also automatically have the small logo uh, underneath my control panel, which looks really nice. I'll show, uh, show it to you. Um, so if you own a hyper marquee or a marquee display, you will need to do one more step. So let me show you. Get out of hyperspin. You need to go to, let's open another folder. Um, let's go to this PC, 
go to my hyperspin drive. Let me focus it for you. Uh, actually, uh, in my case, my uh, marquee uh, folder is not on my hyperspin drive. Normally it would be, but sometimes it's faster to put it on an external XD. So in my case, it's the I drive. We go to Arcade, we go to Rocket Launcher, we go to Media, we go to Marquees, and we go to PC Games. Where are we? PC. Oh. We just scroll to PC Games. Uh, PC Games. And this is where you put your marquee. So let's go to Tekken 7, and I will just drag it over in the marquee section here, just close it, and that's it. Let's double check. Open up Hyperspin, and here we are. PC Gaming, Start game. Exit enter Hyperspin. Tekken 7, and my marquee is perfectly on the marquee screen, so we're actually done. Now, uh, the next part of this video will be very interesting for many of you because I got a ton of questions how to play Steam games because it doesn't work that well with iPad controllers or, um, or with, with encoders. So I'll show you the trick I always use. Let's get out of Hyperspin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going back to Rocket Launcher UI. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back to PC games. Over here we're going back to the module we were in just before and go to Tekken. Here. And now I go to this tab here, which is pre-post launch. And I press it. And before we launch the game, I want to launch a special program which is called UCR Universal Control Remapper. And this remaps the buttons uh, so it thinks that it's an Xbox controller, which is a great program. If you have the Hyper Arcade system drives, it's already pre-installed for you. If not, you can download it um, yourself, so UCR. So uh, pre-launch, press the glass here. I made a shortcut. UCR two player, let's press it. It's in my Arcade Tools folder, UCR two player. And there's a small startup script here, UCR start and UCR stop. Uh, I think they're really easy scripts. It's just a script to start uh, the UCR um, uh, auto hotkey uh, uh, program. So I just choose start. And after we exit the game, we want, to, we want the buttons to be as normal as they were. So post exit, we're going to, let me see, uh, UCR2 player stop. Open. Perfect, let's get out of here. And just for your information, let me quickly show you how the program uh, looks. So let me get to the uh, UCR2 player program. And it looks really complex, but it's completely configured uh, if you have the Krisha Hyperspin uh, drive, Hyper Arcade Systems drive. And uh, it's, it's just super basic. So if you press a button, well, this one, so this is left alt button and it converts this to Xbox stick one right button. So this is, uh, this is how it works. Um, let me close this and let us test Tekken. So let's go to Hyperspin. Let's turn the music on a little bit. And let's go to PC games. And let's go to Tekken 7. And start it up. It says UCR is loading, which is great. You will hear the USB connection sound. So now it actually thinks that we are playing on an Xbox controller. And I will show you the configuration I normally use. So this is the A button, B button, X, Y, right trigger, left trigger, right button, left button. The buttons are working. Press the start button. 
And here we here we go. So let's go to offline practice. It's a super beautiful but super hard game. And the world famous guy I made the console for has something to do with this game. And he's really, really good in it. So here we are. And as you can see, the Xbox buttons work perfectly. They work great. I'm not a great Tekken player. I just do some button slashing. Nice, so it's working. So this was it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, please like, subscribe, share the video and uh, wait for the next one, which will be awesome. And it will uh, come out in, um, in, a, short, uh, in a short while. Bye.